Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For whoever wants to save their life will lose it, but whoever loses their life for me will find it. Matthew 16, 24 to 25. Each one of us is faced with the choice of what to do with our lives, but a select few choose to live their lives for someone else. Following Christ demands dying to oneself for the sake of his glory. This is discipleship. My junior year, um, I was a missionary for eight weeks, and it was very uncomfortable. I worked 16 hour days. I was three hours from home for the first time. Um, and like through that, like the Lord kind of just like walked me through areas of my life that I need to work on. And he kind of just showed me the wounds that I have. So just like through the time of service, really diving deeper into myself, I finally found the Lord and he finally revealed, I felt that he revealed himself to me. And I was like, oh, like I need to follow this dude. And so then I dropped everything I was doing. I dropped my friends, I dropped school, I dropped soccer, and like I went and followed. So when I was growing up, I always, every birthday, when I blew out the candles, I always wished um, for children. I just longed to be a mother. It wasn't until um, I became a mother that I um, even really considered my faith. Um, I remember my oldest daughter was in the hospital just a few um, just a few hours old, and I was holding her, and I thought, okay, this is my privilege and my responsibility to get her to heaven and so I became Catholic then. I had everything I'd ever wanted. I was on scholarship playing baseball in Florida. Like I had my quote unquote dream. And it was in that moment I remember getting back to the hotel one night and um, yeah, I called my mom and I was like, Mom, I have everything I ever wanted but I'm miserable. And so it was at that moment, I really took a step back and started to look like, what is most important in my life? Um, and if this whole God thing is real, is it worth giving my life to? Once you realize the authority that you have in being a child of God, nothing else has authority over you. So you kind of walk differently, you talk differently. There's just like such a freedom that you have in your life. Once I fully encountered the Lord and His love for me, I wanted to give that to everybody. I wanted everyone to know it, to feel it, and desire it. So I wanted to be that beacon of Christ's love to everybody. So obviously I was more careful with what I was doing, who I was hanging around, uh, what I looked like to other people because I wanted to be that love to other people. From being a missionary, I feel like I learned like to be comfortable being uncomfortable. I just feel like as a Catholic, we're called to just be uncomfortable in this world and to not conform because what is comfortable is not, I feel like is what is not from the Lord. So the Lord's plans are always much, much greater and better than anything I could ever imagine. Um, he has give me a great faith life and um, the gifts of four children. And he is always with me and guides me and I never, I never really imagined that when I was younger. I really became aware of the Lord speaking to me um, just through lyrics, through the word in the Bible, just um, verses and scripture passages that were exactly the answer to what I had been seeking. And even through like adoration, through quiet and the stillness of my heart, the Lord always guides. <clears throat> I think it's really just being aware that He's speaking to you. I remember I would wake up in the middle of the night with this recurring thought, I think God wants me to be a priest. Nobody would freely choose to do that um, unless they were compelled by love. Um, and I look back, I, I lived six years of seminary. Yeah, I lived six years of seminary living in a 12 by 12 room. Um, and yet, it was joyful. 
my life makes zero sense without Jesus. Uh, it's through him, with him, and in him, as I say every day at Mass, that everything is made possible. I just love <clears throat> spending my day in like a constant conversation with like a best friend, like how, you know, just back and forth, speaking and listening and always, you know, praising and thinking, but just always keeping that in the forefront of my, of my brain. I get to share my faith every day. It's a gift to be able to <clears throat> pray with my students. You know, we start our day in prayer, we end our day in prayer. I incorporate my faith throughout the day in all aspects of the curriculum, and it's just beautiful to see students, six and seven year olds, grow in their faith. Allowing myself to just be flooded by the Holy Spirit um, has completely changed my life. I mean, my favorite part about being a priest um, is saying Mass. Um, to make Jesus present in his body and blood, soul and divinity, um, every single day so that his church, his bride, um, could become one with him. Um, that's really the joy of my life. It's why I exist. Um, it's the sacrifice which forgives sins and makes everything else possible in my priesthood. It's really the beautiful thing about my life. Simply because I'm a priest, I get to go into um, the places where very few other people can go. Um, and to bring Jesus there. Your vocation has a name. His name is Jesus. And so I think a lot of times we think, um, I have to go to Jesus so I can find my vocation. And it's really the opposite. My vocation is Jesus. And He's going to be the way in which I find the direction to go. He is worthy. He's worthy of it all. Um, and He's worth giving everything for, uh, and it really is the mystery of grace. Um, it's kind of the law of the gift. The more we give, the more we receive. And without making a gift of self, uh, none of us will ever understand what it means to be human. Each journey toward Christ is different, in the way it looks, in the way it feels, and in the way it's followed. Yet Christ is at the center of it all. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. Matthew 28, 16-20